Hey folks, here we go. I am 3-0 and in this run. I'm playing a mage, and he's just put down the mad scientist. Now, he goes first. I already used my queen on turn one with my Gilblin stalker. So the question is, what should I do here? Pause your video, think about what you do, and then, and then we'll talk about it after. Alright, so this is like a little tricky. Well, it's not that tricky. I mean, I'm probably going to kill this 2-2 with my Gilblin Stalker. Uh, at that point, it puts my Stalker at one health. Uh, you know, this is a... I'm not sure I made the right play here the more I think about it. Oh, no, 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 I understand what I'm doing. Okay, so... I have two choices. I can play my Loot Hoarder, or I can play my... my, um... Robo Cub. They're both reasonable. I mean, you would expect that usually the RoboCub would be the right play. Just make it a 3-2, something like that. Uh, I did something a little different. I Whether it's correct or not, I have no idea. I was just like, I felt good at the time. Um, so what I did was, first I didn't kill the Mad Scientist right away. I decided I wanted to play the Loot Hoarder. Why did I want to play the Loot Hoarder? I wanted to play Loot Hoarder in a spot where he cannot, um, well, I first I want to play it first so that if he gets Mirror Entity, when I kill the Mad Scientist, he doesn't get a Loot Hoarder. I don't want him getting a free card. Sorry, I'm greedy. Mad, mirror Entity is, I think, w one of the most common secrets, so if I kill his Mad Scientist and play a minion, there's a good chance he's going to get that minion on his side of the board. So I decided to play the Loot Hoarder right away. Then kill the 2-2. Two, two. It leaves me with two minions that are 2-1 on the board. Now, why would I do that? Why would I play a 2-1 instead of a 2-3 a or a 3-2 if I played the anodized RoboCup? This is a tougher question to answer, and I can't say that I did the right thing. Uh, the, the main reason I did it was because he's going to be in a spot where he may want to hero power my 2-1. And I feel like the best time to put something with one health on the board is when... When, he, when you already have a, a minion that has one health against the, the mage, because it means that they can't... They're, they're target, like, they have two people that they want to use their, their hero power against. So I kind of set that up. On the other hand, it's nice to have a 3-2 out there that has just more attacking power against whatever he puts down on turn 3. Here's the thing, though. I have a 2-1 and a 2-1 on board. Anything he puts on turn 3, I can kill easily with what I have. And... The other thing I can do, which because it's often mirror entity, let's say he plays a 3-4 next turn, or a 3-4 the right thing? Let's say he plays a, something with 3 health next turn, which is a normal thing. So leaving me with two two ones, which is kind of like annoying, because I would have a loot hoarder and a 2-1 Gilblin stalker. That's an annoying situation for him. If he puts something with 3 health out there, I can play my fencing coach. Uh, the fencing coach could then possibly trigger a mirror entity. It'll also give me a free hero power, which I can use with one of my two drop, two, two attack minions to hit his three health minion. I can use my attack on it, and then I can use my other two attack on whatever two two gets spawned. This is a little weird way of playing, but that's what I did. I, I, can't, I can't guarantee that it's right, but let's just, let's just look at how it went. <sighs> Remove the asshole, and I'll probably oh, play it. <laughs> that's my voice. I'm going to turn that down. But yeah, I mean, you know, you would think the, the RoboCub's more valuable just because you get that extra, there's extra stats on board. But I, I did like, I felt like if there's a good time to play Loot Hoarder, that time is now. And I was really wanting to get that Fencing Coach out there <laughs> on turn three for his Mirror Entity. Uh, it's a little, it's a little risky because I'm not putting maximum power on the board. But this is what I did. And again, if you Fire Blast, he's probably going to be left with one mana sitting in his hand which is always awkward. He played this card instead, and I actually went ahead, and, I, you know, I just I just figured the chance of him having the, the mirror entity was a bit too high, so I went ahead and played Fencing Coach. Whether that's correct or not, who knows, but I did it. And also, I don't have a great turn 4 play. I mean, I have a decent turn 4 with a RoboCub and Seal of Light, but it's not, like, incredible. So a lot of times, I'm, I'm okay with putting a Spider Tank in turn 4. So, 
I mean, I played spells. I played the fencing coach. Traded in both my guys against the 3-4. I forget, he had, like, ice barrier or something. Uh, I want... Did I trade everything in right away? I think I did. And then I just played fencing coach. So this is a tough spot. Did I do the right thing? I honestly don't know. It felt good at the time. <laughs> but... You know, I'm sure other people have, will have different opinions. But I won this game, moved to 4-0. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.